Welcome back. Meteorologist Josh Stone in for John Scalzi today. Well, temperatures right now are in the upper 80s and some areas the low 90s right now, but it feels like the upper 90s in most locations around the Sun Coast because of that heat index or feel like temperature. Radar is quiet now, but this will change in a matter of time by late this afternoon and Early this evening, we'll have the sea breeze convergence that will create some of these storms, and then they'll track towards the coastline. 89, as we showed you, with mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies, but increasing clouds will take place as we go through this afternoon. These afternoon storms will get going, and then there's going to be a change over the weekend with a wind shift. Area of high pressure is bringing in some dry air above us. That's going to limit the widespread shower activity in our forecast for today, but the easterly wind will help push these storms close to the coast. Just like yesterday, you can see this on our future cast where these storms start to fire up in the late afternoon hours and then they push from east to west thanks to the easterly wind. But that area of high pressure will slip southward, bringing a return flow around it from the southwest and west as we get into the weekend. And just like two weeks ago, we had a few showers during the morning hours and then in the afternoon, those storms refired, but they were inland and then they pushed eastward. And that's what's going to happen over the weekend. Tropical outlook. Well, the National Hurricane Center has upgraded this little flare up here into a subtropical storm. It's called Debbie, has sustained winds of 40 miles per hour, but don't worry, it's not coming anywhere near the Sun Coast. It's moving to the north and then northeast here in the northern Atlantic over cooler waters, and it will slowly start to dissipate. And other than shipping interest, uh, we don't have to worry about that. 93 will be our high today. Yesterday we topped out at 94, and our average is 90. So we'll be above that again today. And uh, as we talked about the showers and storms, we'll repeat the same forecast tomorrow. And then as we get into Thursday and Friday, that transition of that area of high pressure as it slips southward will bring those winds around it and come in from the southwest. And over the weekend, there's those showers and storms. Mainly the heavier storms will be inland and then push eastward over the weekend.